church that I see is a church of influence. A church so large in size that the city and nation cannot ignore it. A church growing so quickly that buildings struggle to contain the increase. I see a church whose heartfelt praise and worship touches heaven and changes earth. Worship which influences the praises of people throughout the earth, exalting Christ with powerful songs of faith and hope. I see a church whose altars are constantly filled with repentant sinners, responding to Christ's call to salvation. Yes, the church that I see is so dependent on the Holy Spirit that nothing will stop it nor stand against it. It's a church whose people are united, praying and filled with God's Spirit. The church that I see has a message so clear that lives are changed forever and potential is fulfilled through the power of His Word. A message beamed to the peoples of the earth through their television screens. I see a church so compassionate that people are drawn from impossible situations into a loving and friendly circle of hope, where answers are found and acceptance is given. I see a people so kingdom-minded that they will count whatever the cost and pay whatever the price to see revival sweep this land. The church that I see is a church so committed to raising, training, and empowering a leadership generation to reap the end time harvest that all its ministries are consumed with this goal. I see a church whose head is Jesus, whose help is the Holy Spirit, and whose focus is the Great Commission. Yes, the church that I see could well be our church, and it very well could be your church.
the sermon on today, how that we as individuals, we know, we, we've known from little children, most of us, uh, about Jesus. We heard the name Jesus. We know about the church. We was young. We, we was born, we was carried to church. We know about it. Many of us. And, and, and it's something about not knowing the reality of what this is all about. That, that sometimes, even when we get adult, when we get full grown, when we think that we are somebody that have, this have, have taught about our own life, that we mess around and realize that we don't know nothing. And I know about how the, the, the Pharisees, the Sanhedrin court, the Jews, how they had known the Mosaic law. They had heard or read the prophecy that a Messiah was going to come. But when the Messiah came on the scene, they didn't know nothing. Thank you, God. And even in, the, in a day of 1993, things we've gone through, we can't help, we know we can't help ourselves. Problems that face us on a day by day basis. And we get to that, but our own problems, deal with our own problems ourselves, we still don't know that.